Today I'm going to show you a simple four-step method that I use every single day. And to show you how powerful it is, I'm going to demonstrate it in two different genres that I'm working on right now, jazz and metal. So here's the concept. Set a goal, find the source, copy, and then transform. Now this takes a little bit of unpacking to fully understand, so let's start with the jazz example. So like many of you, I like jazz, but I don't have a goal to become a traditional jazz guitarist. But one element of jazz that I love in particular is the bluesy side of jazz. So I set the goal to learn bluesy jazz stuff, and at this point it's okay if the goal is a little bit vague. Step two is to find the source, so I went back to some of my favorite jazz players like Emily Remler and George Benson and read a few of their interviews. And one of the persons that they all mention as an influence is Wes Montgomery. So I defined my source as Wes Montgomery. And the next thing is of course copying his material and while copying his material I found a lot of things that highlight that jazz bluesy kind of a thing that I love. So I actually transcribed the entire song and I have a huge lesson coming on that soon so I won't spend too much time here with the transform section but I will show you combining two of those licks and how useful they can be. So lick one is this and lick two is this. And we can take those two licks, put them together, change them slightly and the great thing about those very simple snippets is that they work over so many different chords. For example, they work over the F major, which this song is in, they work over a G minor, and they work over a C major, and a bunch of others. Now before we get to the metal example, I want to share a message with you that I've honestly been telling myself and I tell myself this every year around this time of year. So as the year winds down, we start to make a list of all the things we're getting excited for to start the next year. But if we just take those first steps today, we'll have so much momentum going into the new year and that's why you've been seeing me play a lot more metal lately. Anyway, our sponsor for today's video, Skillshare, can be that missing link for all of those activities. If your hobby is guitar or sketching your pet feral cat, or even if you want to start a business or explore entrepreneurship, Skillshare is bound to have an amazing lesson on it. And right now, the first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. And that's actually what I did to start this YouTube channel. I started with a free trial. I remember watching Marques Brownlee's YouTube success course. I finished the entire thing in one commute home from New York City and the info I learned there was the foundation for my entire YouTube channel. And now that my channel is growing, I've been trying to improve my finances and bookkeeping so I've been exploring a few lessons to help with that. And as a totally different example, Mystery Girl right now is going through a career shift from law to healthcare marketing and she also wants to write a children's book. Well, Skillshare has been helping her with that as well. So it doesn't really matter what you want to explore, Skillshare is bound to have an amazing lesson on it. And you'll definitely want to claim one of those limited 30 day free trials. So use my link below to join Skillshare and you may be shocked at how much your life can change in just a few months. Okay, so for our metal example, actually hold on. All right, so for the metal example, I knew that my goal was to learn and play some awesome metal songs that use a lot of down picking and E standard. And I started with Master of Puppets by Metallica, but After working on that for a bit, I realized I should probably start with something a little bit easier. So I started looking at the history of metal, especially 70s and 80s bands. And one of the earliest bands that I found that has that kind of a thing I'm looking for was Judas Priest. And I realized I had an amazing catalog of E standard metal riffs. And ever since I've been learning a bunch of their songs. And when it comes to the transform aspect, I've been just taking those same power chords and decreasing the speed or increasing the speed or changing the rhythm up a little bit. And that's been giving me a lot of different things to explore in this style.
So if you're someone like me and you want to explore metal and blues and jazz and rock and all these genres of music, you'll definitely want to sign up for my free guitar craft newsletter, link below. I'll be doing a lot of lessons and masterclasses there very soon. And also remember to check out our sponsor for today, Skillshare. Join one of the 30-day free trials because they will fill up quickly.